This is the Barrett adding machine. It was designed by Glenn J. Barrett. He first worked for the Fox uh, typewriter company and he designed typewriters. In 1904 he set up his own company, the Barrett Typewriter Company, to make them. And uh, yeah, soon after he also designed an adding machine, which is this one. In 1910 he set up the Barrett Adding Machine Company to make them. Uh, he was based in Grand Rapids, but after two years he moved the company uh, to Philadelphia because he could get more investors there. Uh, and that's where this particular machine was made as well. It says here, uh, Barrett Adding Machine Company, Philadelphia. The serial number on the bottom of the, of the machine indicates it was probably made in 1913. This is the Model 6 because it has six columns. There is also the Model 10 with ten columns. And he also made the Model 12 which was an adding listing machine. So that did not have a register at the front but, but a roll of paper that printed out the results. Uh, Glenn Barrett uh, eventually left that company behind and went to do uh, consulting work for other uh, companies like uh, Barrows. And in 1922, the Barrett Adding Machine Company was bought by Lanston Monotype Company. They discontinued this model and only continued with the uh, uh, adding listing machines. This machine is very easy to use, it's very straightforward. Uh, it was considered the most portable adding machine of the time because it was fairly lightweight and uh, yeah, small, uh, especially compared to, to the Burroughs adding machines at the time. It's easy to use, you enter a number and pull the lever to add it to the uh, main register. The keyboard is automatically cleared for the next edition. If you want to stop that automatic clearing, there's the repeat button here. You can lock that down. It's missing its uh, key top. But uh, yeah, now if you enter a number, it stays there. So you, that you can add it several times. To then clear the keyboard, there is this red button here, that's in the spot of the 9 on the leftmost column. But you can also use this red button on the uh, main lever. To clear the register you have to pull the lever but also hold down this red button on, on the lever. So you push this down and pull the lever. There's one more thing here, which is uh, this small switch. If you move this to the left, it activates the item counter. And that means that the leftmost uh, two digits of the register are used to count the number of additions. And yeah, those are then separate from the other four digits, which uh, form the total. There's uh, no carries that uh, are done from the uh, fourth to the fifth column. So these are then two separate uh, parts. So let's uh, show what that's like. If you add a number, it adds it to this uh, total and increments the item counter. Even if I add something really large, the, this only uh, increments by one. You can't really do subtraction on this machine, uh, or rather you can only do it with uh, complementary digits. The complementary digits are listed here next to the keyboard, but yeah, unfortunately this clearing button 
it does make it a bit difficult to use that. This machine has a really interesting looking lever. You can just pull that out. It's a, a beautifully made piece of machinery. So that was the Barrett adding machine. Thank you for watching.